National Championship of the When this video comes online it's in about 16 days and then i'm gonna join the national championship of belgium and the netherlands i'm just so excited about it and may i will see some of you there well it's possible <laughs> here you see a little compilation about one of the first training sessions very very excited for the competition and yeah it just it 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 blows my mind also, also a little bit nervous of course but okay i got some interesting things to tell because national championships there are kind of different disciplines i'm gonna join uh with uh slow riding it's more difficult than you would think i will uh further explain it in a minute and I will do 800 meters and uh, 100 meters and also a slalom a parkour, a slalom parkour, I saw that and it's very funny, it seems so nice and yeah, I'm very curious. A friend of mine asked why I'm promoting body protection but don't wear it myself often. Well, I'm gonna explain. I am a unicyclist for over 15 years now, 15 years of normal cycling is also pretty much. And um, for me, unicycling feels just as normal and safe as normal cycling. So um, personally, for me, wearing uh, a lot of body protection is only needed when I'm going to try different styles, do new skills, new tricks, etc. So that's why I don't wear body protection and I'm advising it for uh, beginners and people who are not feeling so safe yet with it or people who are going to learn new tricks and skills. Since I'm participating for the first time this year on national championship, I didn't know that the uh, competition track was pretty small. The competition track will be uh, 10 meters long, that's fine, and only 15 centimeters wide, that's so small. Some good news, more training sessions are coming soon in the form of short videos from 800 meters, 100 meters, slow riding, slaloming, everything. So have fun watching it. <laughs>